Okay, uh, happy Wednesday. Good morning, eighth grade. It is um, October 21st, and let's get started. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay. Today, this is it. This is our last day on inequalities. Um, and today, I'm super excited for what your assignment's going to be today. We are going to be actually using critical thinking skills to solve some problems involving linear, linear inequalities. So you're going to be using the skills that you've learned um, throughout this entire unit um, on a um, in a, on an assignment that I hope you, you find fun. Um, my, my students in the past have always really enjoyed this, so I hope you do too. Um, so let's talk about it. There's no warm up today. Um, I really just want to go through this assignment with you and help get you started on it so that you know what you're doing. Okay, so your homework assignment, um, if you've printed it off already or looked at it at least, it's called a CSI algebra, um, crime scene investigation algebra. And it's a packet, uh, it's a set of different problems um, that all have inequalities built into them. So this is um, not due tonight. So it's Wednesday today. I don't expect you to have this done and turned in tonight. Um, it's due tomorrow night. So you're not gonna have a homework assignment tomorrow because it's the day of your taking your test and I'm not gonna assign you homework. So if you think about it, you had the review packet assigned yesterday. You have CSI assigned today. And the goal is that all of that is turned in by Thursday, um, either before or after you take the unit test, okay? So um, I'm gonna go through what this packet looks like and, and what you can kind of expect. Um, and I want you to really try on these before you ask for help, okay? Um, and I'll, we'll, we'll get to that here in a second. Okay, so um, it's called CSI Algebra. I wonder if I can move, can I move this? Yes, I'm gonna move me over here because I'm not a suspect. Um, what you're, you're going to read is there's a letter that starts that explains that you are, um, you're trying to solve a crime. You're basically trying to find these terrorists that are plotting to blow up the world. Um, and they travel all over the world and throughout the different units that we study in math this year, they're in different sections of the world where you may be asked to solve some problems about what we've been doing. This is the first one. So um, your assignment today is an inequalities mystery. And basically, if you look on the right side of my screen here, there's six suspects that are listed. Those are the six suspects that you're trying to identify which one is the evil mathematician um, terrorist that's trying to blow up the world. And you're gonna do that by solving some problems to figure out what the person's favorite number is. So when you get to the end of all of this, you're gonna come up with a number, with one number, and that number will identify which of these six suspects is, um, is guilty of the crime, okay? So that kind of gives you a framework for what you're doing. So let me show you what you're gonna see. Oh, now I gotta move again. Um, so there are six puzzles that you have to solve. And each puzzle comes up with an answer that's a variable. So if you look at this first one here, um, you're looking at a number line, you're gonna plot a whole bunch of, of um, inequalities on the number line to try and figure out the answer to the puzzle. And I'm gonna let you read the puzzle and figure that out, figure out what you're trying to find out, okay? And what you're gonna get is a, is a number. And so that means that V equals that number. And that's a very important clue. That's the answer to puzzle number one, and you hold on to that. Then you're gonna to go to puzzle number two, scene number two, and you're gonna solve that one. And then there's scene three and four and five and six. So there's five different, or six different scenes, and each one's going to give you an answer that's a variable. So like the first one is V equals, and you're gonna get a number. Um, the second one, depending on what your answer is, will depend on what the variable is that you get, and so on. Very important, I want to give you a hint on number two, on scene number two, because you're gonna look at that and go, we didn't solve anything like that in this unit. And you're right, we didn't. We didn't do any, any inequalities that included two variables, okay? We're gonna do those later on in the year. But 
I am confident that if you think about it, you can figure out a way to solve that problem without needing to know anything about solving inequalities with two variables. And I think you can do it without using that graph. So you can just cross out the graph and ignore it. You can figure out the answer to the problem by using the information that's given there. And I gave you a really big hint to remember that ordered pairs, so those ordered pairs there, represent X and Y. And so think about how do you know if a number or an ordered pair is a solution to an equation. So think about that, and I bet you can figure out number two, okay? So you're gonna solve puzzles one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? I didn't show you all of them, I showed you that first page. There's several pages and there's a couple puzzles on each page. At the very end, at the very bottom of the last page, you're going to see this cryptic puzzle solver text message. This is where you're gonna plug in your values that you solve for. So like on that very first puzzle, we were gonna find V equals something. Well, V will get plugged into that equation, okay? Along with all of the other letters that you're gonna find um, in the puzzles. And when you plug into that equation and solve it, then you get the suspect's magic number, favorite number, and that identifies who the suspect is, okay? That's what you're gonna be working on. So like I said, I'm giving you today and I'm giving you tomorrow to do this. You don't have to get it all done in one night. These are tricky, it's a, it's a tough puzzle, um, but you have all the skills to do it. You just have to think about it. And the reason that I like to assign these to my students is because in the real world, when you get a problem that you have to solve, nobody's gonna tell you the formula. You have to figure out what the formula is to solve the problem. You have to figure out the steps that you need to take to solve the problem, whether it's a math problem or some other problem, okay? So this is all about using your math that you've learned in this unit, but also building some pretty awesome critical thinking skills, okay? I know it's hard. This is your pep talk, you can do it. Um, be, you know, be sure, ask your tutor for help if you need to, but not until after you try, okay? You have to try on your own first and then get some help. Um, you can always shoot me an email too and, and I'll help you a little bit if I can or if I feel like um, I can give you information that is useful without doing it for you because we don't wanna do it for you, we want you to do it, okay? So that's your assignment for today. Let's see here, yep, that was it. Um, work on these and um, I look forward to seeing you all figure out who the suspect is. Continue to solve, um, work on your review sheet if you're not done and be sure and put a message in the discussion topic. If there's something you want me to solve for tomorrow, I'm gonna be recording that video later tonight, okay? Have a great night. Um, let's close in prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.